This video will show you how to simulate a vacuum packaging in Blender, please watch till the end. When you open Blender, first press X and delete the default cube. Press Shift A and add a torus. Zoom in a little bit and press Tab to go to the edit mode. Press Alt and click to select this inner middle edge loop. Press Ctrl Numpad Plus to select more loops up to this middle one. Press E then right click to extrude but leave the shape in position. Now press S then Shift Z to scale it down locking the Z axis. Press Tab and go back to the object mode. Go to Object and shade it Auto Smooth. Now click on this Z to go to the top view. Now select the object and press Shift D then X to duplicate it there along the X. Press Shift D again and duplicate it there. Now select all of them and press Ctrl J to join them into one object. Press Shift A and add a cube. Now click on this Z to view it from the top and press G to move it relatively in the middle of the object we want to pack. Now press S and scale it to entirely cover the object we want it to pack. You can turn on X-ray visibility to clearly see what you're doing. Click on this X to go to a side view and press S then Z to scale it along the Z, make sure it's really small. Now press Tab to go to the edit mode. Press Ctrl R and type in the loop cuts you want then right click, in my case I used 40. Go to this side also and press Ctrl R and type in the number of edge loops you want as we did for the first one. Come here along the thickness and press Ctrl R to add an edge loop also. Press S to scale it out a little bit. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Go to the physics properties and add a cloth physics. Scroll down and activate pressure. Click here and make it 5. Scroll down and click on the drop-down arrow on shape. We need to assign a pin group, so let's press tab and go to the edit mode. Make sure this edge loop is selected and go to the object data properties. Come to vertex groups and click on the plus icon to add a vertex group. Click on assign to assign this edge loop. Now press tab and go back to the object mode. Go back to physics properties and under shape click on pin group and select group. Expand the timeline a bit and press the space button to play the simulation. As you can see we have our shape filled with air. So just look for a frame where it just covers our torus object. Come to modifier properties and click on this drop down arrow to apply it. Now that our geometry covers the torus objects, first show me some love by hitting the like button. Select the torus and the packaging object, then click in this Y to go to side view. Now press R then 90 to rotate it by 90 degrees. Select the packaging object and go to the physics properties. Give it a cloth physics again. Scroll down to shape and add a pin group. Now activate pressure and make it negative 6 this time round. Now select the torus object. Come to physics properties and give it a collision physics. Now press the space button to play the simulation. You can see that it packs the torus object but it seems to have air spaces in it. To fix this, come back to the cloth settings and scroll down. Click on the drop-down arrow on collisions and scroll down then activate self-collisions. Now if we go to frame 0 and press space to play it, you can see that it's vacuum packing correctly. So go to the modifier properties and add a subdivision surface modifier. Go to object and shade it auto smooth. Click on this drop-down arrow and apply the cloth modifier. Also select the torus object and go to the physics properties and remove the collision physics. Select the packaging object and press tab to go to the object mode. Press E and then S to scale it out a little. 
Select the top vertices and press G to move them up a little bit. Press Ctrl R and scroll to add two edge loops then click to get them in position. Select an even number of vertices in between here and press Delete to delete faces. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Now we are done. You can switch to the render preview and go ahead to assign materials and render. Thank you so much for watching up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.